welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I'm going to go through May 2018 Sidereal Vedic Astrology Report and this is based on your moon sign. So if you don't know your Sidereal Vedic Astrology moon sign, click on the link below, find out your moon sign and then you can skip ahead through this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave in the description timestamps so that you can look up your sign, get your news for this month and then carry on with your day. So without further ado, I am going to race through six signs. So we're going to go from Aries moon through to Virgo moon and then I'm going to go through Libra moon to Pisces moon in part two. So you'll be able to find your sign really easily and get your news. Let's take a look at Aries moon. Aries, welcome. We're going to have a look at your fast moving planets. So we're going to have a look at Mars, Mercury, Venus and the Sun. And then we're going to have a look at your slow moving planets, which, you know, they're kind of hanging out in the same house for quite a while. So your fast moving planets, you've got Mars on the 2nd of May is going to shift from the 9th to the 10th house. Aries moon, have you been a bit tired lately? Have you been a bit run down? Have you been a bit low on energy? This could be why, okay? Um, when Mars was in that ninth house, you may have been feeling a bit run down, a bit tired. And now that it's moving into the 10th house, things still aren't going to be brilliant. Now, as opposed to just feeling a bit lethargic, you may have some issues at work. Don't worry, it's not going to be anything major. Um, the idea here is Mars energy just won't be operating at full steam here. So you might want to, you know, now's maybe not the time to put the foot on the accelerator when it comes to work. That's all I'm saying. And that's kind of running through till about November the 4th. It's actually a bit of a long transit there. So just when it comes to work, put your head down, do your work, keep it cool, keep it calm. No big moves at this stage. Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from the 12th house to the 1st house. Uh, again, you may have had a loss of energy when it was in the 12th. Mercury is not the greatest in the 12th there. Um, again, I think in the 1st house it's not going to be brilliant either. So again, you want to kind of stay cool, stay calm with your relationships and be careful with your finances. Don't be doing too much outlandish spending or anything like that. Venus on the 14th of May is going to shift from the second house to the third house. So there you're going to want to spend, okay, and that's for you to manage. Um, you know, maybe there's something that you have had your eye on, maybe a new watch or something really nice. Great, maybe you can make it happen, but maybe you might want to be a bit conservative there uh, as well because of that Mercury transit. It depends, who knows, maybe you've got different planetary alignments in your chart and you might be able to do that quite easily. Uh, anyway, regardless, Venus has given you fantastic energy this month. So this is definitely a great planet for you right now. Um, you want to enjoy time with your family. You'll definitely have an increase in luck. So if you're feeling lucky, that makes perfect sense. You'll be more popular as well. The sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from the first house to the second house. There again, you might feel this same theme of loss of energy. You might be a bit tired. You might be a bit depleted. It's okay. Um, nothing major. Again, it's just, you know, maybe on a Friday night after work, the colleagues want you to come out. Maybe you might want to go home, you know, and that's rare for you, Aries moon. I would imagine that's, that's kind of rare for you, but uh, you might want to take it a little bit easy. Uh, and again, with the sun in these placements moving in the way that it is, you might want to avoid excessive expenditure at this time. Taking a look at your slower moving planets, you've got Saturn in retrograde in the ninth house uh, and that's until January 2020. This is a very long transit. Uh, this is actually a good time for you to switch jobs if you want to. Um, long distance travel is indicated here, that can be really good. Uh, keep building on your spirituality. Keep watching videos like this or watching videos on my channel or any spiritual channel that you love. That's a really um, nice thing to do. Kind of build it into your day. One of the things I was doing when I was um, working in central London 
uh, not too long ago, <laughs> I was reading The Course in Miracles every day with lunch. I was just reading like, you know, little bits and uh, I had it on my phone actually and I would just kind of highlight bits as I would go along. And it was a really nice thing to do while eating lunch actually because it got me out of the office, it got me contemplating, it got me thinking. It's a, it's a really nice thing that you just slowly read a little bit day by day and that could be a really great thing uh, with your Saturn in the ninth house there. Jupiter retrograde in the seventh house until October 2018 so it's kind of a longer transit this is good news for you you've got relief here you've got growth you've got expansion you've got new business partners coming in um, expansion of business that's a really good thing for this time great time for singles singles get out and mingle um, social life is good uh, even travel is indicated with this transit here so Aries moon you've got a little bit of a mixed bag you've got a little bit of low energy but Venus is uh, providing some really great energy for you there and of course Jupiter is providing fantastic energy for you as well. Let's take a look at Taurus moon. Welcome Taurus. Let's have a look at your fast moving planets. So we've got Mars on the 2nd of May is shifting from the 8th house to the 9th house. Uh, energy wise you may have been depleted, you may have been a little bit drained uh, and you probably had to control your spending and I think you're probably going to have to keep doing that. Um, you know this transit of Mars is, is, is good but you know um, Mars has happier places to be so it's okay keep business as usual going here with Mars that's fine. Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from your 11th house to your 12th house and Mercury's had a wonderful time in your 11th house. Uh, you've had a boost to your willpower, you know you probably had success, you've probably been noticed, recognized in the workplace, maybe you've found a hidden talent during this time, uh, maybe you were able to get out and mingle and network and do that kind of thing. Now though with Mercury moving into the 12th this is not so brilliant. Uh, you, you might notice a little shift, you might notice that your energy might deplete a little bit, expenses might be a bit higher, um, you know this is this is a time to kind of perhaps slow down a little bit, uh, use that brilliant mind of yours to investigate spirituality, this might be time to pick up some spiritual texts and uh, enjoy those. Venus on the 14th of May is going to shift from your first house to your second house, this is really good actually, um, this is quite nice, I think Venus has had a nice time in your first house, of self, probably good for your relationship with your spouse as well. A uh, good time for singles to meet someone. Uh, networking, yep, absolutely. We've got that indicated there. Second half, yep, you want to spend time with your family. That'll be nice, really nice energy to spend time with your family after the 14th of May this month uh, in May. Now the sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from your 12th house to the first house. You may have noticed uh, that the sun has been causing a bit of loss of energy drain here as well. I know I've said that there with Mars as well haven't I? So this is a bit of a theme actually that's kind of running through uh, a lot of the a lot of the signs so please don't feel alone. If you've been a little bit tired or run down lately just go easy on yourself you know um, and I think I've said this for a previous sign as well that I mean goodness if people want you to go out on the Friday night after work and you don't have energy just say just just you know take it easy. So Sun 15th of May shift from the 12th house to 1st house yeah loss of energy and avoid excessive spending if you can. Um, with your slower moving planets You've got Saturn retrograde in the eighth house till January 2020. So this is a this is quite an interesting transit actually. This is a big one, and I've read lots of different things about it. And if you tune in every month, you know I'll hopefully add a new dimension to this slow moving transit each transit each time. But um, one of the things that is possible when Saturn's transiting the eighth house from the Moon is you could do a really big career shift if you wanted to. So if you're like, you know, I don't know, if you're an investment banker and you are into spirituality, maybe this is the time that you completely dump that and then become a Reiki master. Or maybe you work in a restaurant and you completely dump that and you 
I don't know, you, you do something radically different, like you become a tour guide in the mountains or something, something really different. Do you know what I mean? Like this could be the time to do that. Now this slow moving transit is till t- January 2020. It's quite long. Uh, if you're not doing any big career move or career switch or anything like that, it is going to be a bit of a time of slow grind, um, hard work, you know, and where you'll see the progress is in tiny incremental improvements, improvements to your habits, improvements to the structure of your day, improvements to, um, you know, like small improvements, small changes, small tweaks that make a huge impact. So it could be something like Um, incorporating a new vitamin into your daily daily routine or um, improving the quality of water that you drink I know I always used to drink tap water all the time this was years ago and uh, someone once told me yeah you really need to change that you really need to have filtered water and that kind of thing and yeah I made that shift so these, these could be some of the things that you look to doing at this time with this transit um Jupiter retrograde in your sixth house till October 2018 this could be impacting things for you it could be impacting your health it could be and we have that energy drain with Mars we have it with the sun and now we've got it here a little bit with Jupiter as well in your sixth house health could be just not brilliant not 100% at this time it doesn't mean that it's bad it just means that you're not firing on all cylinders kind of thing. So when that's the case, don't push yourself. That's all. You know, you might have to change some of the expectations in your mind and just be a little bit more practical, just take a little bit more care of the physical body. Uh, Your debts could go higher at this time. Your expenditure may increase even though you don't want it to, even though you've really got a handle on that and you're being very good about that, but it might increase. So that could happen there. Uh, and again, I've got a note about just improving daily habits. That's to do with with health and with structure and with how you work. Um, so that's Saturn in the eighth and Jupiter in the sixth. So so both of those areas, health and work, how you structure things, how you deal with other people, that type of thing. So Taurus Moon, it's uh, it's an interesting time for you, but you've got some nice Venus energy there. So. And I think maybe, you know, spending time with the family, I think that that'll be a nice thing for you this month. And don't worry, if it's not sounding too exciting, don't worry at all, because transits change every month, especially with the fast moving planets. And you'll see as the year progresses, there'll be more exciting transits and things coming up for you very soon. So let's dip into Gemini Moon. Welcome, Gemini. Thanks so much for joining. Now we're going to take a look at your fast moving planets. So we've got Mars on the 2nd of May is going to shift from your 7th house to the 8th house. So over the last little while, you may have had some issues possibly with your spouse, possibly with a business partner, possibly in your business. Um, You know, perhaps things just have been a little bit tense or something like that there. Don't worry, I think that's going to shift a little bit. Now, the emphasis is actually going to be a little bit more on your health. So hopefully things will ease up with the relationships there. But what you're going to want to do is take care of your health during this Mars transit. Take it easy. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Um, You know, if you're running out of energy, don't push yourself, that kind of thing. Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from the 10th house to the 11th house. Uh, You've had a really nice easy time with this transit actually this is really good Uh, and I'm seeing my goodness I think it's just going to get better so good on you this is great this is good transit right here so you had a nice easy time now you know who knows a new talent of yours may be discovered you may discover a new talent within yourself you may be recognized Um, great time to mingle if you're single uh socializing this is all good you can do networking at this time that should expand for you and good health so mercury is doing wonders for you lucky gemini moon 
Venus on the 14th of May shifts from your 12th house to the first house. So this is really fantastic as well. My goodness, financial gains, good relationships, um, good progress on the personal front as well. Good relationships. This is wonderful. So both Venus and Mercury, you might even be feeling a little bit more artistic. Who knows? Because they're kind of, uh, they're kind of close to each other in the sky not really but maybe <laughs> but who knows maybe you'll be feeling a bit more artistic as well uh, the sun on the 15th of may shifts from your 11th house to the 12th house so this has actually been a really profitable time for you but now that it's going to shift into the 12th house there's a little bit of a change so you are going to notice a shift there um, you might want to slow down your spending a little bit and you might want to look after your health a little bit more as well if you're feeling tired if you're feeling run down don't push yourself um, just go slow go easy take it easy we're going to have a look at your slow moving planets we've got saturn retrograde um, in the seventh house till january 2020 uh, this okay yeah this has been not not so brilliant so if you're thinking you know the above all sounds really amazing well and if you've been having some tough times maybe your Saturn is quite prominent in your chart that could be the case so if it is then you would have experienced some tough times in partnerships possibly tough times in business um, with work and all that kind of thing as well what's needed from you now is patience Saturn is helping you to cultivate a tremendous amount of patience and we all know that patience is a virtue. So that's what you're working on at the moment. This is a time of no shortcuts. This is a time of hard work and grind. You're just going to grind, you're going to build, you're going to build and things may not happen as quickly as you want them to um, but that's, that's Saturn. And Saturn, I always say, is the cosmic personal trainer and he is the ultimate cosmic personal trainer and you come to loving him if you are really serious about becoming excellent at something if you are work with Saturn and he will get you there um, this is why no shortcuts and you know you, you end up mastering things with Saturn it takes time that's the only thing and that's really hard when you're an impatient person believe me I know I can be very impatient so um, and I've been learning patience over time definitely Saturn is uh, I love Saturn I'm a big Saturn fan even though he's tough he's the best I think uh, Jupiter retrograde in your fifth house till October 2018 oh well, this is wonderful this is wonderful so don't worry if things have been tough you might have a prominent Saturn but if you've got a great Jupiter well this is fantastic for you because um, expansion, children, great relationship with your children if you have children, uh, time to expand, you can invest, um, socializing is here for you, great time to study, great time to learn something new uh, or, or really put your mind into your studies. Singles, this is a great time for you to meet someone and um, yeah, as I said, Good time to study as well Gemini moon this is a really good month for you it seems so we're gonna head into cancer moon welcome cancer thanks you thank you so much for joining us now I'm gonna take you through your fast moving planets and then we're gonna have a look at your slower moving planets so Mars is moving into your seventh house from the sixth to the seventh house on the second of May um, you've had a good time with Mars, good growth it seems, uh, yeah probably good growth, definitely you would have had good growth with your business, um, you would have been overcoming enemies and, and doing all kinds of wonderful things and now though interesting time with Mars, you might have uh, some issues potentially with your spouse or your business partner, don't worry nothing major but just bear this in mind and that's the point of coming to get the news get the sky watch news you know the point is that you become aware and therefore you're better equipped and therefore when these things come up you'll be less reactive so don't worry about it but things may come up to do with um, your spouse or business or that kind of thing it's also a really good time for you to watch your health as well and just make sure that you're looking after yourself Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from the, the 9th house to your 10th house. Um, so you've possibly had a tough time uh, in certain relationships, um, possibly work-related people, possibly even a parent, 
possibly even your father, um, possibly your spouse, that kind of thing. Uh, now, though, Mercury after the nice is going to have a good time. Okay, he's going to shift into an area of the chart that's that's good, and uh, now you're going to have an easy time with career. Um, you're going to have a nice time, and you might become more interested in your spirituality. You might start engaging in that a bit more and enjoying that a bit more, perhaps incorporating some uh, interesting reading in, into your days. Who knows? Venus on the 14th of May is going to shift from the 11th house to the 12th house. And this is really good. This is really, really lovely. Uh, financial gains, good relations, good relationships, uh, more gains, travel could be on the cards for you. Um, that could be really good. That could be expensive travel, but that's okay. <laughs> maybe that's maybe some kind of luxurious travel. Who knows? Uh, singles, get out and mingle. This is good for you. So that's really nice. You've got some really nice energy coming up there with Mercury and Venus. Sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from your 10th house to your 11th house. Um, this is great. This is really great. Cancer Moon, you are going through a good time here. This is really fantastic. Uh, work recognition you're going to be you're going to be seen you're going to be rewarded gains money this is wonderful promotion that kind of thing and an increased network so the sun is shining bright and high and loving it here this is a really good time slow moving planet so let's have a look at Saturn retrograde in your sixth house till January 2020 my goodness. Oh, this is sensational. Cancer Moon, you're having a good time. Uh, victory over opposition. This is great. Good health. Family. Great time with family. Growth in income opportunities. In fact, I remember I had a Saturn transit through my sixth house and oh my goodness, Saturn just kept giving me opportunities after opportunity. It was just mad, you know, and, and I would have an opportunity and it would give me more. It, it was crazy. So, um, so this is a really special time for you. So this is till Jan 2020. Make the most of this. I tend to call this a platform building time. This is a really good time for you to really achieve some things here. So uh, enjoy this time. You should have good health as well. I think I said that. Good health, family, growth and income. Yeah, all this kind of thing. This is really good. Jupiter retrograde in the fourth house till October 2018. Okay, if you've been feeling like things haven't been going great for me, could be to do with your Jupiter uh, Jupiter is giving you a bit of a mixed time, could be at work, could be with family relationships. Be careful while you're traveling with this Jupiter. Be careful as well, anything in connection with your mum, maybe mum's health or your relationship with mum. Be careful with mum. Be careful with property deals. Um, so nothing good or bad here, but just, uh, you know, this your Jupiter could be the potentially the source of issues if you are experiencing some issues but hopefully you've got a prominent Saturn hopefully you've got you know um, Mercury Venus Sun really nicely placed so yeah and I mean of course you know there's Rahu Ketu as well which I don't do in in these transits I tend to look just at um, ma mainly at the fast moving planets because that's where you get the most change when it comes to transits okay so we're going to hop into Leo Moon now Leo Moon welcome uh, let's take a look at your fast moving planets. So for you, Leo Moon, Mars on the 2nd of May is transiting from, it's going to shift from the 5th house to the 6th house. So, okay, you've had a bit of a tough time. Uh, you've had perhaps some tough time with relationships, quite possibly. But now is a time for wealth and opportunities and growth, okay? So this is going to change for you. This is going to be a really good transit. This, this, this is good. Yeah. Mars will topple opposition here. Mars loves it in the sixth house. Mars is going to have a good time here. So don't worry. You've come out of a bad time, possibly. Uh, Mars is going to have a really good time here. And definitely things like career, overcoming enemies, um, which is a bit of an odd phrase, isn't it? But, you know, uh, basically, you're going to win. All right. Oh, my apologies about that. Leo Moon. Unfortunately, the camera just froze and, and went crazy. So maybe it was that Mars energy that just came through. And I was probably, was I talking about toppling opposition? I hope you got that part. Well, maybe Mars energy decided to topple my camera. Who knows? But uh, basically with this Mars transit, 
on the 2nd of May from your 5th house to the 6th house, you're going to have a really good time. Enjoy that, okay? Enjoy wealth, growth, opportunities, toppling opposition, all these wonderful things. Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from your 8th house to the 9th house. So you've probably had a time where you've been enjoying your intellect. Perhaps you've been using it to dig really deep on something. Perhaps you've been, perhaps you've uncovered a hidden talent within yourself. But now with the shift, um, you might find that around you things tend to get a little bit more argumentative or people are argumentative. There could also be a hike in expenditure. So just be mindful of these things uh, if, if they do happen. But of course, you're tuned in, you're watching the news, so you're going to be aware. So these things aren't going to bother you too much. Uh, Venus on the 14th of May is shifting from the 10th house to the 11th house. So perhaps before the 14th of May, things have been a little bit difficult at work. Um, but don't worry because now Venus is going to shift on the 14th of May into the 11th house. And, you know, hopefully you experience much better times when it comes to work. Hopefully you get noticed, you get promoted. Um, this could be a really good time for networking in relation to work so it could also make you quite a bit more popular uh, and singles definitely get out and mingle. Sun on the 15th of May shifts from your ninth house to the 10th house so perhaps you've had to be careful at work uh, you know before the 15th of May but after that period of time this is going to be an auspicious time in regards to work so you know increased wealth promotions you'll be noticed you'll be recognized for your efforts um, this is a really really good transit the sun absolutely loves it in the 10th house so look forward to that after the 15th of may leo moon now we're going to take a look at your slow moving planets and that saturn retrograde in the fifth house till january 20. 20 so if you have been having a challenging time in your life this could be one of the reasons why um, perhaps you've been having some issues in your relationships and we're talking about personal relationships more so here in this case uh, avoid the stock market I've got a note about that now that doesn't necessarily apply to everyone um, but if it applies to you and uh, I mean avoid the stock market you know I, th I think for some people that that could be hard to do if you're heavily invested in it for example so um but i mean i guess that's something to bear in mind you know maybe if you're wanting to get into it and it's uh you're finding delays or you're finding difficulties you know that's that's why it's worth bearing that in mind um if you're studying something you know this this could be a tricky transit this could be making it hard for you to concentrate and to see any progress or to see any movement so um, basically with Saturn what you've got to do is you've got to work with Saturn and you've got to develop patience and um, he's I always call him the ultimate cosmic personal trainer and he works you hard and he's tough but if you go with it you know and if you want to be excellent at something work with Saturn he's really the one to work with so so yeah do do work with Saturn even though he can be a bit tough and he can cause some delays uh, Jupiter retrograde in your third house till October 2018 this could be another source of delays for you at the moment business could slow down a bit uh, your friendship scene social scene could slow down a little bit maybe your health slows down your energy slows down um, it's a bit of a slowdown happening here for you but one good thing about Jupiter energy for you right now is uh, that travel would be good so if you did want to travel or do a pilgrimage of some kind um, let's say there's something from childhood that you always wanted to do maybe or a place that you always wanted to visit you know maybe that's an idea to be to be doing that at this time so that was your overview, Leo Moon. And now we're going to step into Virgo, Virgo Moon. Welcome, Virgo. Thanks so much for joining us. Now we're going to have a quick look at your fast moving planets and then we're going to have a look at your slow moving planets. So your fast moving planets, we've got Mars on the 2nd of May. 
uh, is going to shift from the fourth house to the fifth house. So perhaps you've had a bit of a tough time with your relationships. Um, perhaps you've had a bit of a tough time with yeah, family relationships really or even something to do with property. Maybe you know, you've been a bit stuck or you haven't been able to sell a place or whatever it is or moving, maybe you haven't moved or something along those lines. Um, and then Mars transits into the fifth. Yeah, I mean, look, that, that's also going to be a time where uh, Mars is going to be asking a little bit more from you. So you, you really want to stay calm <laughs> and uh, stay calm when it comes to your relationships. Stay calm and carry on. As, as we say in Great Britain, keep calm and carry on. So it's, it's that kind of thing really that you're going to need for a little while. Uh, you're also going to need to look after your health, Virgo Moon. You are going to have to relax when it's time to relax or when you've done too much. And you're usually doing too much. So uh, I would recommend that you take it easy if you possibly can. Mercury on the 9th of May is going to shift from your 7th house to the 8th house. So you've had possibly a little bit of a tough time in regards to work, in regards to your energy as well. And I am noticing that as a big theme across all the different signs this month, that um, there's a lot of energy drains happening to people. So do look after your energy. As I say, don't, don't overcommit yourself. Um, but socially things are going to be better, it seems. Uh, your intellect is, is going to have a good time here in the 8th, it seems. What I've seen in my research is that um, people like to dig deep and they like to explore hidden things and it's, it's great for the mind, so enjoy that. Career progress is also possible at this time, so that's good after the 9th of May. Then we've got Venus on the 14th of May. We'll shift from your 9th house to the 10th house. So you've had a good time with Venus. Um, you've had some good luck. Perhaps you've been expanding your spirituality. Perhaps you've been studying a little bit. But now things are going to be a little bit tough when it comes to work with Venus moving into your 10th house. So just be careful when it comes to work. Just put your nose down, work hard, um, avoid too much politics or, you know, Now's not particularly the time to put your foot on the accelerator work-wise. Uh, you just want to be, you just want to keep the wheel spinning there, perhaps. Um, and it's possible that you could have, say, some tricky times with your relationships, maybe even with your spouse. But as I say, don't worry too much because you're watching this. You're actually becoming aware. So if these things happen around you you know, you've got a heads up, so you're not going to be too affected by these things. So it's always good to watch the transits, I always think. Uh, sun on the 15th of May is going to shift from your 8th house to the 9th house. So you've probably had to be careful at work. This is a bit of a theme and we can see it here with Venus too. Um, you are going to have to take care at work still and take care of your health still. There is quite a theme for you of um, looking after your health. I mean, I'm seeing that there with Mars as well. Um, so Virgo Moon, you, you're really going to have to look after yourself a bit during, during some of these transits. And don't worry, month by month they shift and change and you've got things to look forward to. But it's just the month of May. Perhaps just take it easy a little bit. Don't overstretch yourself. Uh, slow moving planets. Let's take a look what we have here. So we've got Saturn retrograde in your fourth house till January 2020. So this could be a time where things are a little bit up and down. This is in relation to money, work and property. Um, you probably had to work really hard actually. Or you're probably having to work really hard I should say. And you're probably wondering, good God, when is this long, hard grind going to end? And I mean, this is a long transit till January 2020. Uh, but don't worry, because all the habits that you build, all the good habits that you build, it's those, those tiny daily incremental habits that you just keep building into your life, they are going to see you succeed. You are going to develop excellence uh, and, you know, 
as long as you keep building those building in those good habits as you go that's really what's called for at this time with this slow moving Saturn transit so yes it's a time of hard work um, but you know it's 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 not bad it's not bad this is a really good time to just perfect certain things being Virgo moon I think you'll quite enjoy that too um, so work with Saturn is what I'm saying he's that ultimate cosmic personal trainer and you know the personal trainer they're always tough and you can't stand them but they will get you there and Saturn will get you to where you want to go so during any long transits with Saturn just make sure that you are continuously improving your life you know and that's basic things it's like maybe you need to include a vitamin into your diet maybe you need to include another yoga move or a yoga move per day <laughs> or maybe incorporate five minutes of meditation into your day per day so there's little tiny incremental things that we can do that you know build a wonderful life it's that kind of thing that you want to be focusing on all right let's take a look jupiter retrograde in your second house till october 2018 so this is really good this is really really good this is lovely um increase in wealth and gains awards recognition could come to you at this time uh family your health family i mean this is a great time for you to spend with family your health picks up at this time uh, with Jupiter and of course this is you know I mean if you've got a really strong Saturn maybe he'll be influencing and coloring the chart a lot more so it really depends on the setup of your chart but um, if you've got a strong Jupiter this is a wonderful time for you so your health picks up um, if you're wanting to get pregnant this is also a really good time and who knows even your psychic abilities and prophetic abilities might expand at this time thanks to jupiter being where it is all right so stay tuned for part two where i'm going to take a look at libra to pisces and thanks so much for stopping by mm -hmm.